Awesome, yeah. So switching from uh, Forex into the uh, U.S. equities uh, world, I uh, want to talk to you today uh, about a quick profit uh, trading setup uh, used by the new kings of Wall Street. And we all also have a $100 price here, Amazon gift card. I will uh, tell you about it uh, here just in a few slides. Um, uh, just want to go over those disclaimers here uh, very quickly, not going to read the whole slide. Uh, just want everybody to be aware that News Quantified is not an investment advisory service. We're not a broker dealer, not a registered investment advisor. What we are is a research firm that analyzes the impact of uh, events and news on U.S. equities, and we make that research available to our subscribers. And if it comes to trading, always remember to trade at risk capital. My name is Oliver Schmalholz, and how you might hear from my slight accent, I'm originally from Germany, grew up in Bavaria, just south of Munich, uh, close to the Austrian and uh, Swiss uh, border, a beautiful area over there, and now made a complete change of lifestyle living in the U.S. in uh, Scottsdale, uh, Arizona for, I think, 10 years now, yeah, and really enjoy the desert lifestyle. And a little bit about my professional background before I uh, switched into the world of investing and uh, trading. I was in the phone business, and I had the opportunity when the U uh, Austrian telecom market uh, opened up, when it deregulated, to grab the first long-distance license there, build up a business, and then uh, sell it to a large publicly traded company. And that really allowed me to do a lot of cool things uh, in the world of uh, uh, investing. And part of my track record is uh, generating 100,000 in uh, 30 minutes with a diversified uh, portfolio. So not a single lucky uh, trade. Multiple uh, triple digit percent annual uh, returns, and that's the one I'm most proud of uh, during the 2008 financial crisis when most investors really struggled, I was able to generate a seven figure uh, return. Uh, here are a couple pictures. I love to travel the world and enjoy the uh, laptop uh, lifestyle. First one here that's in South Africa at the Southern Cape, uh, the one next to it with my wife here during a cruise in the Mediterranean and uh, Greece. The one below, uh, U.S. Virgin um, uh, Islands, uh, St. Thomas. That one here uh, was a really fun uh, trip to the Tiger Temple in uh, Thailand, uh, that's north of uh, Bangkok, and uh, the one below in Hong Kong. And the great thing is I was able to trade in all those countries. I'm uh, up to 59 uh, countries uh, so far uh, when I get to 100 here in the distant um, uh, future and not so distant future. And um, like I said, we're going to have a $100 um, Amazon gift card uh, giveaway uh, as part of this. Uh, session here. Uh, during my presentation, you'll see a copy of an equity chart, six figures in just uh, 30 minutes. Pay close attention. You might want to grab a notepad and write down some stuff on that uh, slide, uh, whatever you see. Uh, the first um, person with the correct answer will uh, win a $100 Amazon uh, gift card. Just to say thanks uh, for you to uh, listen to this uh, presentation. So one winner, 100 bucks. A um, little bit about News Quantified. Um, after trading this approach uh, from 2005 until 2012, um, I started a, a company called News Quantified. And so that was um, over six years ago. We quantify uh, news events and uh, other events, and I'll explain in a minute what quantifying uh, means. And we first made that research available uh, to the big guys on Wall Street, uh, to fund managers and uh, analysts, then also discovered a uh, demand from public companies. Uh, they're interested to see how news and other events impact um, uh, their own stock and how it compares uh, to the industry uh, and to their uh, peers. And then uh, last, uh, after we had all the great data you know, populated, um, we um, uh, made it available to individual investors uh, like uh, you and me, and a different presentation, much easier uh, to digest. Uh, so that was the last business line uh, we launched. And here are a couple uh, professional pictures of me speaking at events. Um, I'm an introvert and I hate to speak in public. I'm much more comfortable here on webinars where I can't see the audience. Uh, uh, it's a lot less intimidating uh, than seeing a couple hundred people in the room. 
uh, and standing there uh, in front of everybody. But that one I'm really glad I went to. Uh, that was at the Franklin Templeton uh, uh, Institutional Conference in Florida. And the cool thing was I had over a trillion dollars in assets under management represented by the fund managers uh, in the room. That's another panel here in uh, Las Vegas, uh, Nevada. And then that one down here, uh, that's with Steve uh, Wozniak, uh, the other Cap Apple co-founder. He was at a uh, conference here in uh, Scottsdale and was great hanging out uh, with him. Now, there's a major shift going on on Wall Street. Uh, it's data-driven investing. It's uh, around this whole quantitative uh, approach, meaning having computers do some of the work for us and put it into a rule to find opportunities when to buy and sell um, uh, equities and other uh, vehicles. But in this presentation, it's all about U.S. stocks. So what, what is it and do you need it for your portfolio? Should you care? It's all around the terms. I'm sure you've heard big data, AI, artificial intelligence, uh, bots, machine learning, natural language processing, quantitative uh, data. We're living in this brand new data-driven world. We have cars that are almost self-driving. Tesla yesterday announced that a couple hundred of employees will get the first self-driving feature enabled. So in a couple of years, we're not going to drive the cars ourselves anymore. They will be self-driving. And then Amazon already you know, is doing test deliveries with drones and stuff like that. So in the investing world, there's a lot of information that needs to be analyzed and uh, digested. And computers have gotten so powerful that they can do this work a lot better than us, a lot faster. They never sleep. They can run 24-7. And as we're living in this world uh, that never sleeps, where information flows 24-7, uh, uh, we really should have a hard look at can we utilize uh, computers to help us uh, generate uh, better uh, returns. And that's what this presentation is all about. Absolutely nothing more important than finding out exactly what is going on in the world uh, around you. Now, switching into the mainstream uh, media here, um, great article in the uh, New York Times here, the next generation of hedge fund stars, data crunching machines. Then the one uh, in the middle here that was in the Wall Street Journal, the quants meet the new kings of Wall Street, how machines and their masters are rewiring the investment world. And then Bloomberg uh, talks about how quants are eating away at Wall Street's edge. So wouldn't you want to, if all those mainstream publications are talking about that somebody is take, uh, eating away at Wall Street's edge, and uh, how there's these new kings of Wall Street, wouldn't it be great if you could uh, join them by being an early uh, adopter? The Wall Street Journal had another great article uh, that talks about the timing of all of this. Uh, it was a feature edition, in-depth article, the quants run Wall Street now. And the two key sentences in there, for decades, investors imagined the time the data-driven traders would dominate financial markets. That day has arrived. So ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, here. And the for decades, uh, that's so true because I started looking at it in 2005, but I had to do a lot of uh, groundwork myself. There wasn't a uh, out-of-the-box uh, product that I could just buy and uh, jump on without having to do a lot of uh, the testing and uh, development work. So what's a quant? Quant is the short for quantitative uh, analyst. Quants use computers to tell them what to buy and uh, sell. And the long version is it's a person uh, who analyzes a situation or event, especially a financial market, by means of complex mathematical and statistical modeling. Wall Street firms are hiring a large number of quantitative analysts, so they're in big uh, demand right now. So if we talk uh, first about you as the investor. The questions you should ask yourself is, can I afford not to utilize this uh, approach? Can you just ignore it? Then what's your time horizon? Uh, what are the goals I'm trying to achieve uh, during that time? What is my upside potential if I apply the strategy to my account? Can leverage be applied? The answer is yes. Can I apply this directional, for example, only uh, long trades? Or can it also be applied as a market neutral strategy, meaning long and short at the same time? And the answer is yes, I'll explain why. And how diversified am I? How much downside uh, risk am I exposed to? 
can I check signals from my smartphone so I'm not glued to a computer 24-7? And can I enter trades on my phone, tablet, uh, or uh, laptop? The next, the questions about data-driven investing itself. So what kind of data are we really talking about here? And we're talking about news events, SEC filings, earnings reports, analyst actions, uh, market rumors. So all of that um, uh, all belongs into the data uh, category. And in order to really uh, get a full view of the market, uh, you need multiple news sources um, to really uh, capture it all. And historical data, um, uh, shows how similar events have performed in the past because history repeats itself here. And we're talking about direction, price uh, performance, and the volume impact. And the latest in predictive uh, power of uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence is being uh, used here. And then it runs on very, very fast computers. Uh, so we crunch, uh, on average, a million uh, data points uh, per second when the market uh, is open. Uh, so that sounds uh, fairly uh, complicated uh, here, and um, it's really simple to narrow it down uh, to a three-step uh, process. And the uh, simple three-step uh, process here um, is number one, there's a quant event uh, happening. You know when to enter, you know when to exit, meaning uh, taking profits. And then you repeat uh, the same three-step process again over and over and over. And this is how you can grow uh, your account. Switching into the academic world, uh, we recently um, had four universities do an academic study on uh, our data. NYU in New York, uh, Rutgers in New Jersey, UC Berkeley in California, the University in Tel Aviv. And it was published by the Journal of Investing in the spring 2018 edition. That's volume 27, issue one, to be exact. And here's what the head researcher uh, says. News quantified data helped researchers determine that news releases can help predict market performance, not just in the following main trading session, but throughout the subsequent uh, quarter. And recently, we had Dr. Lifnet on a, a training session and I borrowed a couple of his key slides here. So what the study did is it took the earnings announcements during the extended hours, and they're half uh, during the pre-market uh, and the other half is during the after-hour session. And the returns uh, during those extended hours reflects the market reaction to the earnings surprise. So it means if there's good earnings news, uh, the price uh, will go up, investors uh, buy. But then the, uh, that positive return is also predictive of the main session return surpassing uh, the earnings surprise. And then, even more interesting, uh, the uh, return in the extended hours is predictive of the longer return drift, and it can last all the way to the next earnings date, and they happen quarterly, incremental uh, to the earnings surprise. So the better the news, um, uh, the better the outperformance, the higher of a return you're able to see. And let's look at this equity curve here, how smooth uh, that is. Uh, so they put together a strategy where once a month uh, you would rebalance uh, your uh, portfolio. And uh, so this is, uh, you know, waiting quite a long time after these earnings event, uh, events all occur. You just enter at the end of the month, long and short uh, positions with the highest ranked opportunities, and that's the kind of equity curve you get. Compared to, and that's a 10-year uh, period, compared to the S&P 500, you see this big uh, drawdown here, uh, there in 2008, 2009, and if you compare the performance, 140% for the combined hedge versus 62% on the S&P, so that strategy outperforms uh, the uh, S&P by 2.25 times. And that's only you know, rebalancing once a month. Uh, you're able to get much, much higher returns uh, if you rebalance more often, uh, if you're more uh, active. So let's jump into uh, the three um, uh, items here. Number one, how to access repeatedly uh, detectable quick profit trade opportunities on New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ uh, stocks. So the news types that are triggering those moves are two categories. Number one, they're scheduled events, like the earnings example I just gave. You know the date, 
you know the time so you know when it happens for what stock it happens but you don't know uh, the outcome uh, yet so you still have to uh, you know uh, look at the result but you're able to schedule it and you know when it happens and then unscheduled events that's analyst actions market rumors uh, reg fd disclosures product announcements uh, you know safety breaches uh, elon musk sending out uh, uh, you know uh, tweets about taking the company uh, private those come unscheduled it means they're surprise news and those can impact a stock fairly big um, uh, if it's caught by a surprise. And if you look at the three trading sessions, most of the activity happens uh, during the main market from a volume point of view, but most of the news happens during the pre-market and the after hours. And um, what we look at here is the event type. What is it that lets us uh, predict the direction of uh, uh, the movement, uh, uh, if it's a long or short? What's the ideal holding period? When do I enter? When do I uh, exit? And 97% of uh, these events are just pure noise. So we need to find those 3%. And that's what computers help us uh, you know, in finding those to find the 3% that really uh, moves uh, the stocks. And history uh, repeats itself. If there's a positive event, investors buy, especially if it comes uh, as a surprise. If there's a negative event, investors typically uh, sell. The number one news event I discovered uh, back in 2005 after looking at millions of uh, historic uh, events, in 2005, uh, moves up. 2006, moves up. 2007, uh, moves up. 2008, and that's during the financial crisis, the average of all those events that happened during 2008 is still a positive number. 2009 moves up and so on every year here and then 2018 it still uh, moves up. It's just part of human uh, nature that if there's uh, unsurprisingly you know positive things happening uh, in a stock uh, it uh, moves um, uh, up. There's positive uh, momentum and um, Let's just uh, look at the 2017 rich list of the world's top earning hedge fund managers. All five you see on here all use data in their investment uh, approach, and that's how they get uh, on uh, this list. So the data sources you need, uh, you need all the news wires, uh, that's Business Wire, PR News Wire, Globe News Wire, you need the uh, SEC Edgar feed, you need to look at analyst actions, understand how the sell side rates stocks, that's uh, the uh, upgrades and downgrades, uh, you need to look at media monitoring, uh, we looked at millions of sources and narrated it down to 50 that really matter. And then financial publishers, uh, we got great relationships uh, and content licensing agreements with Fly on the Wall and uh, Benzinga. And no single source covers it all and is always the fastest. You need multiple sources. That's why quants on Wall Street spend a lot of money in data, and data isn't uh, cheap. And you might be asking yourself, can I get all this for free uh, on the Internet? Can I go to Yahoo Finance, uh, find everything I need? That was exactly the starting question. I asked Che Laramie, uh, my uh, programmer, and uh, he became uh, the co-founder of News Quantified when we started News Quantified. And we analyzed it and came to the conclusion we have to license all this data. Uh, it's pretty expensive to do that. So unfortunately, you can't use Yahoo Finance or any of those free sources. Uh, it's not always timely, not always complete no predictive uh, data, and no historic uh, measurements. So then after you have uh, you know, all those historic news events and you crunch the numbers and you find those repeatable situations where there's good news and the stock price goes up and you find another bucket where there's bad uh, news and the stock price uh, goes down, how do you then you know, turn that into a strategy that can actually outperform some of the top hedge fund managers uh, there on Wall Street while only spending 10 minutes per day using um, your uh, phone or laptop uh, to do it? So what I had to do is uh, buy historic tech data, subscribe to data feeds, uh, hire Che and a couple other programmers, wait for them uh, to be finished with the coding, do historic testing, 
look at multiple hold times. Uh, then to make sure that it wasn't curve fitting, I actually hired a um, statistician from Stanford uh, to look at the data. And um, he did a statistical review, then by the latest uh, hardware. And here's the problem. Number one, data is expensive. So I spent between the data uh, and the programmers, I spent over $240,000 uh, out of my own pockets before I ever put on uh, the first uh, trade. Don't worry, you won't have to do that. I'll uh, show you a better option uh, towards the end. And then also the time required. I mean, it's a lot of uh, time to put together all the specifications, accumulate all the data, um, uh, then wait for the coding to be finished, uh, review all of that, make sure there's no bugs in there, uh, it all works. So. Uh, it uh, took me, you know, over 18 months uh, to develop all of that um, uh, until I was able to put on the first uh, trades. But there's a much better way uh, for this easy three-step uh, process uh, now. Number one, the quant event happens. Number two, we know when to enter. Number three, we know uh, when to exit and then repeat uh, the whole uh, process. So let me show you an actual uh, example uh, here uh, with some unexpected uh, good news here. So that was an item uh, here um, on um, the 31st of uh, July. We had uh, Apple earnings here, that's for AAPL. And you see here that's the third quarter uh, their fiscal uh, quarter ended on June 30th of 2018. Uh, the earnings per share were $2.34. Uh, uh, the consensus number, uh, $2.17, and that was a qualifying quant profit-taking uh, setup here. So step one um, uh, is fulfilled. And uh, so that's a opportunity uh, here that showed up on our um, uh, scanner. And then, uh, so the price was $193 there at 4.30 uh, on the 31st of uh, July. And uh, here's uh, what happened in the following uh, uh, 23 and a half uh, hours. So you have the after hours uh, up to uh, here. So stock uh, nicely went up to like 197 uh, bucks. Then, um, so it went all the way up 4.54%. Uh, it closed out the day at a 4.4% uh, price increase. So you had time, you know, there was multiple re-entry uh, opportunities here for you to jump on. You didn't have to get in right there at 4.30 in the afternoon. So if that's not a time that works for you, uh, there's other re-entry opportunities the next morning uh, here in the pre-session or even uh, right here uh, on the main uh, market open here and you see if you would have entered at the uh, market open right here and then go uh, uh, here to the close. So as a day trader, uh, you could have made uh, up to 4.4%. And that was on uh, more than quadruple uh, the usual uh, volume. Uh, then versus a position trader uh, that wants to stay in the trade a little bit uh, longer, uh, we're now uh, up 17% uh, versus the S&P is just up uh, 3%. <coughs> and you see here it just kept uh, going up here and uh, that's a quantified uh, news event we uh, knew what's most likely uh, going to happen uh, so that was on July 31st on a super liquid uh, stock uh, an opportunity both for day traders and position traders uh, that want to stay in for a couple days or all the way up uh, for three uh, months. So the choice uh, was uh, yours. So as a comparison here, 4.4% uh, uh, as a day trading opportunity and then 17.06% uh, uh, here uh, for uh, position uh, and swing traders. Uh, then to exit, so there's multiple exit opportunities uh, you had. And we go over that uh, uh, in you know training we, uh, we offer. Next, let's look at the opposite here. Let's look at uh, a negative uh, news event. And what we had here is Facebook. Um, uh, that was on the 25th of uh, July uh, here. Uh, it had um, uh, expected number of $1.75 uh, per share. 
and they came uh, out at 174 per share and the conference call was uh, pretty uh, bad uh, what happened on the conference call I'm sure a lot of you on here uh, remember um, uh, what we saw in the media all over. That was a qualifying quant profit opportunity uh, event. The last price of the news event was $218.70. And, uh, uh, and uh, see how quickly it uh, crashed uh, uh, down here. Uh, great profit opportunity here in the, uh, in the after hours. It uh, went down $42, uh, dollars, uh, that's 19.41% uh, uh, that day. It was already down almost 25% here on 10 times uh, the usual volume. And let me just explain what that volume ratio uh, means. So that's a proprietary number uh, we calculate after every news event comes out. So we look at thousands of events uh, every day. And that uh, number compares from the actual time of the news, uh, what happened uh, you know, to market participation, and then we cross-check that, what happened during the same time, the five days before the news event, so during normal times. And we put that into a percentage number. So 1,089 uh, means it's 10 times the usual uh, volume. And that's a very, very significant uh, outperformance uh, uh, in terms of market participation. Typically, you want to see that number at least to be 200. If it's under 200, uh, you know, uh, you don't have a lot of momentum uh, moves. Uh, so uh, typically, uh, you know, if you see it above 200, you can uh, see some great uh, uh, opportunities, uh, you know, that trigger a major trend. And so looking at you know what happened to a swing trader or position trader here, um, we're down $54 now uh, since the event uh, came out, uh, uh, down 25.13%. Uh, and so if you compare the two here uh, between the day trading opportunity versus the swing trading opportunity, you see um, uh, you know, the difference in uh, the numbers. Uh, very profitable. Uh, for both of them. So knowing when to exit and then you repeat uh, the same thing uh, again. There's daily opportunities. Uh, so uh, out of the thousands of news items, there's always, you know, 20 to 30 long opportunities, uh, 20 to 30 on a typical uh, day. Short opportunities, uh, you can select your preferred uh, hold time uh, and uh, you have long and short opportunities, uh, so not just uh, directional. And with the way this looks is there's a news analytics uh, dashboard that during market hours when the market is open will filter for all those opportunities and you're able to select your uh, hold time. You're able to select, um, you know, click on alerts and uh, set up actual alerts to your email box or uh, SMS and you're able to get notified when a triggering event happens. Um, and uh, that's a screenshot here from earlier this week from uh, Tuesday from the 25th when we did a uh, live uh, webinar. And now here's the important slide, uh, so pay close attention uh, to that. That was really the breakthrough. You might want to take some notes on here. I'll be asking one question towards the end uh, of the presentation and the correct answer um, uh, wins a $100 uh, Amazon uh, gift card, whoever answers it uh, first. And uh, so this is what really w uh, my breakthrough moment uh, defined, you know, or, or how I really started to believing in this approach and um, uh, it really changed everything for me. But it made $103,159.71 to be exact uh, here. Um, in just 30 minutes. I was living in Nevada at that time. You see down here 6.30 in the morning. Uh, that's Pacific time uh, plus three hours. Uh, that's 9.30 in New York. So the market opened. I put on a little over 20 uh, long positions and then under 25 uh, short positions uh, here. And half an hour later, um, had $103,159.71 uh, in my interactive broker's uh, account, and that really uh, gave me a lot of uh, uh, confidence. And uh, that uh, felt so great, and uh, I did take profits in case you're interested uh, what happened. And I enjoyed the day and really had a fun 
uh, time uh, was fantastic. So, but it's great to make 100 grand in uh, half an hour. Uh, how do we future-proof uh, our investment portfolios to protect uh, our retirement and make massive uh, profits, uh, whether the market is up, down, or uh, flat? After all, crashes happen. Uh, that one here in the 1920s, then one in 1987, 22.6% uh, drop in a single uh, day. That was pretty dramatic. And then that one really got me uh, the tech bubble bursting uh, there in March of 2000. Um, that was a horrible time uh, for me. But I'm glad uh, I went through it because it defined uh, you know, where I got to uh, after that. So let me tell you a little story of what happened there. So I'm in my uh, you know, late 20s, uh, just made a bunch of money selling my company, living the good life. Uh, got a brokerage account at one of the uh, big brokerages, got a stock broker there, uh, actually a team uh, of three brokers, and they keep advising me on where to put the money, and um, I'm heavily invested into uh, tech stocks, and uh, the market no longer goes up uh, in March of 2000, and suddenly you know, all those profits that came in suddenly you know, turn into uh, uh, losers. And the worst day I had, and I will never forget this day, was April 15th uh, of uh, 2000. Um, I hope none of you had to go through what I had to go through. I lost a million dollars uh, in the stock market uh, that day. I mean, it was devastating. I was ready to throw the uh, TV with CNBC on there uh, right out of the window. Uh, it was horrible. But what that triggered is I said to myself, I don't ever want to go uh, through the same experience, uh, you know, losing a million bucks in a single day uh, again in my life. It takes a whole lot longer to make a million bucks uh, than a day. So I started to research who is making money in the market right now. And I saw all those hedge funds, you know, those hedge fund guys in the custom suits on uh, CNBC were uh, bragging how they're making all those uh, profits. And um, I started to analyze what they're doing. I get this um, flyer in the mail. I was still living in Vienna, Austria, about uh, a hedge fund conference uh, that they put on in uh, Vienna. And the keynote speaker was Myron Schools. Uh, you might remember that name from the Black Schools Options Price Theory. It actually won the Nobel Prize. So he was the keynote speaker there. and. Um, so I registered for the conference. It was $3,000 for a one day, pretty expensive, uh, but interesting crowd, learned a lot. But the key thing was I was able to sit right next to uh, Myron Schools uh, during lunch, and I asked him question over question over question. And the cool thing is he's just not a, a great researcher that won the Nobel Prize, uh, but he also started a firm called Long-Term Capital Management, LTCM, and first made billions and then lost it all because they were over leveraged, uh, but then had a great comeback. It was fascinating uh, speaking to him. Still feel bad uh, uh, that he could hardly eat his lunch uh, because I asked him so many questions, but I figured how many times in your life do you have an opportunity uh, to have lunch with a guy uh, like him? And the key thing I got out of him that it's those events that trigger all those massive moves uh, all those massive moves that if you understand what those events are, that's your golden ticket to outperforming uh, the market. And boy, was he right. Once I started to analyze that, let's jump to the uh, 2008 housing crisis. And um, uh, it went completely different. I uh, had long positions, short positions the same time and uh, generated a seven-figure uh, return uh, during that time. And I'll show you a copy of uh, the tax return yeah, so you uh, have actual uh, proof. So on our, uh, that analytics dashboard screenshot I showed you, uh, three things, um, uh, you know, the top three signals here uh, on the right, those are short signals, but the uh, red uh, triangles pointing down and then the green uh, ones here uh, pointing up, uh, that's potential long opportunities. And um, uh, you can profit as stocks uh, react uh, in either direction. It's being called uh, market neutral. So if we know that 
certain stocks, you know, after they have positive news events, uh, they go up, and there's other stocks that go down if there's negative uh, news events, then we can put half of our portfolio here buying the stocks that are most likely go to go up, and the other half, you know, shorting the ones uh, that will go down, meaning uh, selling them. That's being called being market neutral. All the big hedge fund guys do that. So jumping back to the screenshot I took, and we actually did that in, during a webinar here uh, on uh, Tuesday. Um, uh, we looked at all those um, uh, signals here. So the first three uh, ended up 2.26% um, uh, uh, symbol TS, then N. Uh, HYDY uh, was up 3.25%, uh, IRET 4.79%, uh, and then out of the three shorting opportunities, two were winners, uh, you want the price to go down, uh, so the first two uh, were winners, uh, the, the last one here, CHK, uh, was a uh, loser. So that's market neutral if you have, if you want to enter six positions, and you enter three long and three short, um, uh, you're able to be in a market neutral situation profiting from the longs when they go up uh, you capture this upside move here and the same time uh, you capture the down move on the shorts now you might be asking yourself you know what happens if there's a really strong general trend in the market and uh, everything uh, goes into uh, one direction and that's a great question so if that's a big update uh, 3% up day on the S&P, doesn't happen too often, but sometimes it does. Uh, of course, your strong um, momentum stocks that had positive news, they will go up, but typically they will go up a lot more than general market, and then you have a loss on the, uh, on the shorts or a smaller gain on the shorts, but since they had bad news, uh, they underperformed the market, so um, uh, net. Uh, it's a great day for you if you have those strong uh, moves. So now let's look at the 2008 uh, tax return uh, here. Uh, so here, $1,347,382 uh, in uh, taxable uh, income here. That's after all the um, um, commissions are uh, deducted, net gain. Uh, and you see that's for stock trade securities with the mark-to-market -market, uh, selection here. I was running a partnership, United Data S Systems, with my old telecom partners at that time. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's not, uh, you know, from uh, doing webinars, that's not from, uh, you know, writing books or selling software. Uh, that is all, you know, trading profits here, uh, mainly in an interactive broker's account with two other uh, backup uh, brokers. And, um, so let's uh, jump into the uh, Amazon gift card giveaway. Uh, what was the exact amount the strategy generated in just uh, 30 uh, minutes here? The first one to put it into the uh, Q&A box here. And uh, let me, Martin is here, $103,159.71. Congrats, uh, Martin, you're the winner. Just send uh, Jeanette uh, the, um, uh, your email address and you'll uh, get it here after this uh, session is over. Thanks for everybody that um, uh, watched here closely. And uh, now let's jump into what's the opportunity uh, for you. So we've taken all this complex stuff uh, into a simple uh, solution. There's first the education and uh, training piece uh, here. Uh, that consists out of uh, four live uh, boot camp sessions. Uh, we also have uh, recordings, uh, you have access to those. A resource uh, library, monthly uh, Q&A sessions. Uh, we have ongoing uh, support uh, through email and through uh, web chat. And uh, there's also a software piece, that's the predictive platform that finds those 3% of news and filters out uh, the 97% that are uh, irrelevant. You can't get this anywhere else. And there's this news analytics uh, dashboard that has actually a uh, signals page with long and short opportunities. And then you can turn that, if you want, into uh, alerts uh, where it sends you uh, emails or text messages and um, uh, SMS straight to your uh, phone. And 
you you probably you know you might have a few uh, concerns and I m just want to go over a couple here the first one we typically hear uh, from uh, potential customers is I have no chance as an individual investor or a trader and that's not true uh, because you now have access we can give you access to the same uh, data that the big guys uh, have so if you have access to the same data to the same tools the smaller account size you have is actually an advantage why you're actually you know able to move a lot faster imagine if there's a 10 billion dollar hedge fund and they want to put 50 million into a single uh, trade um, in that case you know it goes pretty slow uh, for them uh, to uh, you know scale into the position and you can already be fully invested uh, by the time uh, they still scale into the trade you might be saying you have to be a high frequency trader hft uh, to profit not the case uh, because um, we showed you that even uh, you know if you just invest once a month you rotate your portfolio you can outperform the s p by a factor of two but if you want to get into the triple uh, digit percent uh, return area uh, yes you need to enter a little bit uh, more frequently you need fast computers it's a big boys clap actually we have the fast computers uh, you connect them through your browser on your existing device it works on excuse me, Max PCs, uh, tablets, iPads, uh, smartphones, uh, so you have all the devices um, uh, are covered. Smart Money and Wall Street Insiders have systems and strategies only available to them, uh, not me, not no longer uh, true because we make it available to everybody and you need to have a lot of money to begin with. We have newbies that started small and then scale it up uh, so you don't have to you know, have a seven-figure account uh, to be successful with this and there are no investments that are crash proof absolutely but you're able to crash proof your portfolio the benefits here news quantified assists you uh, with investing has totally eliminated all those concerns that you saw on the previous slide you can get access to the same systems and strategies and data previously only available to financial professionals institutions wall street and hedge funds and you don't have to go back to school to get an MBA, PhD, or securities licenses. Uh, no need uh, for prior investing or trading experience. We start out with the basics, and it's a proven system to predict stock movements in up, down, flat markets during all economic uh, conditions. A couple testimonials here. Review by Finance and Markets. Stacy Cups did a uh, YouTube review. Before he placed trades, uh, he started on a Monday, uh, the end of the week on uh, Friday, he was up $4,507.70. You can check it out on YouTube. Uh, Business Wire, that's a testimonial I'm very proud of. Berkshire Hathaway Company, Warren Buffett owns it. News Quantified is an industry-leading innovator in measuring news impact on stock market activity. And here, Tia. Uh, after 10 months uh, of investing, I'm up over 55%. Finally, I have the confidence that we can retire comfortably in a few years' time. This is the best decision I've ever made. Uh, she's from the UK, never invested in US stocks before, um, and took our training and just went for it. And uh, here are a couple uh, experts' uh, opinions. Rob Hoffman, Buff365, uh, and become a better trader. Uh, Oliver has spoken for some of the largest groups of the wealthiest, most uh, assets under management groups about what we're talking about today. So put that in perspective. It's not like going to a local or physical show or something speaking about a bunch of novices. We're talking about people that can uh, control a lot of great uh, deal, the wealth in the world, listening to the data-driven uh, model. And then Todd Mitchell here, this will only help enhance uh, what you're already doing. There's no doubt about it. I've seen it all. I've done it all. I've traded uh, forever. It seems, uh, and this only helps add to my knowledge base and just gives me more tools and more trades, gives me more ideas, right? We all want ideas. We can push a button, have a bunch of symbols come back to us uh, that are potential setups uh, that we should uh, shift. Uh, sift uh, uh, through it and again I mean this is uh, phenomenal and um, so the question is what's one profitable uh, strategy worse to you if you could have a strategy that makes you five grand a month maybe ten grand a month uh, depending on your you know portfolio size maybe even more how much would you pay 
to get access to this one perfect strategy with clear entry and exit rules so you know exactly what to do when and you're never left in the dark uh, what to do. You have three options. If you believe uh, you know, the data-driven stuff is changing the investment world to future-proof your portfolio, you can do it yourself. Uh, you can do what I did, spend 240000 buy all the data, hire a programmer, statistician, uh, etc. Uh, you could hire me one-on-one. -on -one. I charge $8,000 for a 90-day program uh, with direct access to me. Uh, that's for individual investors only, sorry. If you're a hedge fund manager, it's uh, six figures. Uh, but we have a much more affordable option. Uh, we have a fast track uh, program, and that's the shortest and most affordable uh, path uh, to access. Uh, to, uh, you can learn the same for only $997 and six payments of uh, 197 a month if you want a, a payment plan. So let me post uh, the uh, link uh, right here in the uh, chat. And it's newsquantified.com forward slash join. So here's everything uh, it includes. It includes the Big Data Investing Boot Camp, $2,997 value, four live uh, training sessions, uh, and access to the recordings, the return matrix, it's a $2,997 value. Uh, the upgrade, if you go for the single pay option, you get an extra six months, uh, so sorry, uh, you get six months plus the two extra for free. So we're talking eight months total saving an extra 33%, and then access to two years of historic analytics, $1,990 value, and the nine power strategies, $997 uh, value. So total value, $11,357. What's the nine power strategy? So we've taken nine of the most powerful strategies around those events and uh, put them with clear entry and exit uh, strategies uh, on this uh, document. Uh, it's not like you have to uh, spend hours and hours uh, watching videos to uh, get those strategies. It's a PDF uh, document. Um, uh, it's really easy to understand, really easy uh, to compare, and uh, you even get a cheat sheet uh, that shows everything. Um, you can uh, create a checklist uh, that gives you exactly you know every step uh, you need to uh, take. So you have two choices. Your first option is do nothing, stay put in your current situation, not future-proof your portfolio, even though this major shift is happening on Wall Street and the Wall Street Journal uh, calls it the new kings of Wall Street. Uh, Bloomberg uh, says the quants are eating away at Wall Street's uh, lunch here. Uh, would that make you happy if you do nothing and you don't change anything? Or your second option is invest in yourself Join the new kings of Wall Street, take uh, charge of what you want in life, and uh, you get the training, the software, the signals, and uh, the alerts all in one package here. And as a special bonus, um, I'm going to include a special training with it with uh, trading champion uh, Rob Hoffman. Uh, he just won his 28th Real Money uh, International Trading uh, Competition here a week ago in uh, Paris. He's a great friend of mine, and uh, he is a user of the News Quantified software, and he has graciously, graciously offered to share um, uh, his favorite indicator setup, so you get instant access to that training, and he shows exactly how he uses uh, News Quantified with his favorite indicator here, what parameters to use, and when to enter uh, and exit. And that's only available uh, as part of the Fast Track uh, Quant Package. You can't buy that uh, separately. You will have instant access. And for uh, our fast action uh, takers, uh, there's the 33% uh, off uh, additional two months. So you get, instead of the normal six months, you get a full eight months of uh, access. If you take action now, again, uh, you need to go to newsquantified.com forward slash uh, uh, join, J-O-I-N, and um, there's a timer on there. Uh, it expires on the hour. So go to newsquantified.com forward slash uh, join, and the link is in the chat uh, in here. And um, so your path to join the new kings of Wall Street is joining the smart money uh, without spending the time to figure it out yourself. You get access to the same data, 
and you will have everything you need, the training package, the news analytics dashboard, the signals uh, and uh, alerts. And um, so to, to wrap it up here, uh, you get the big data investing uh, boot camp, the return matrix, uh, six or eight months of access, and uh, the nine power strategies, uh, two years of historic analytics, total value 11357 uh, dollars. Newsquantified.com forward slash uh, join, and let me see uh, what questions we have, and uh, uh, I'll get straight started here in answering the uh, Q&A. And uh, here we go. Is it better uh, to do accounting at mark to market or uh, accrual basis? So KS, a uh, great question. Um, so that really depends on how active of a trader uh, you are. Uh, if you're very active and uh, best talk to your accountant um, uh, here, uh, so this is not considered uh, legal or uh, tax advice. Um, so talk to your accountant, but um, uh, typically, the more active you are, uh, the more it makes sense uh, to uh, actually take the uh, mark-to-market um, uh, election. And so you've got 14 uh, people here right now on the checkout page. That's great. So just enter your full name, um, uh, email address, uh, phone number. Then it gets you to the second stop, uh, to the second uh, step of the page here. And um, just type in your uh, payment information and then uh, you're straight in. So uh, KS, uh, I would talk to my accountant. Um, and uh, uh, can you use this uh, with doing options, Jeffrey? Uh, yeah, you can. Um, we have customers using it uh, with options, um, absolutely. Now, it's not an options trading course. Uh, just want to be uh, pretty upfront here. If you know how to trade options, you can absolutely uh, utilize it. Uh, trading options, and um, uh, you have other uh, means of uh, leverage uh, available uh, as well. And um, portfolio margin is one, regular margin is one. Uh, so if you're trading stocks, um, uh, you can um, uh, use uh, regular margin with your uh, uh, broker. Um, Doug is asking, can an absolute beginner get through training uh, in your boot camp uh, to place their first trades? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what Kia, remember Kia, uh, uh, Tia was in the um, uh, testimonials uh, slide here. Uh, Tia had no prior uh, experience. She's a dental receptionist. Uh, she lives in the UK, an hour and a half outside of London, had no prior uh, experience. and. Um, uh, took the training, uh, started out with a uh, simulated account at Interactive Brokers, and then uh, started to um, uh, migrate it to a real money account, and uh, she had a 55% performance the first uh, 10 months. So yes, if you're a newbie, uh, you can absolutely um, uh, get uh, started. It starts out uh, pretty uh, basic. Um, and um, let's see here. Um, after eight months, uh, BC, yeah, that's a good question. How much after eight months? Any, uh, yeah. So after eight months, uh, you have uh, the option to continue uh, at $997 for every six months, uh, or you can switch to a $197 uh, per month plan. Now that's if you want to continue using the uh, software piece. You will learn everything. The knowledge is, is uh, you know, with you. Uh, if you want to do it on your own and you don't want to uh, continue subscribing to the software, uh, no problem. Uh, you can, uh, uh, you know, uh, cancel at that time. So um, you don't have to stay on it. Uh, you're able to. Um, uh, you know, use the knowledge, uh, and if you want to get the information elsewhere, uh, that is fine. So uh, the renewal, you see it right here on the slide, uh, 997 every six months or 197 uh, uh, per month. And if you get on the payment plan, it's really uh, uh, a six months uh, commitment here. So uh, you know, you commit to six months here, 197 uh, per month in payments. Obviously, you save if you make a single uh, payment here, and uh, uh, yeah, so um, 
just as a wrap up uh, here, um, uh, the next uh, session here is uh, next uh, Wednesday at 11 o'clock uh, Eastern time. So uh, get in, you have less than a minute to complete your transaction if you want the extra uh, bonus here. Uh, 997, uh, one pay uh, option, um, uh, six pay at uh, 197, uh, the link is in the URL here. I see there's still a couple people here uh, that are on the payment page. So if you're on there, uh, click the uh, buy now uh, button now uh, to complete the transaction. And Jeanette, uh, thanks so much uh, again for having me on here uh, today. Always great uh, to come back and right. um, much uh, appreciated and uh, uh, great questions. And uh, thanks for having me.